All right, Shalom, a quick GMS on the go, back with another lesson, giving all praise, honor, and glory to the Heavenly Father and His only begotten Son, Yahweh, Bahashem, Yahweh Shai, Bahashem, Rakakwadash. Next, double honors to the head apostles and elders of Great Millstone, the ones that taught me the 100% truth according to the Bible, peace, blessings, and safety to all you sincere arguments, man. Keep pushing, keep pushing, keep pushing. You see the title. If you don't believe, that's on you. The message that we bring through the spirit of Yahweh, Bashim Yahweh, week in and week out, the Negroes, Latinos, and Native Americans that don't believe, that's on you. We ain't out there to make you believe. We're just out there to give you the word, all right? We're not out there to make friends, get phone numbers, go on dates, or none of that. Go to the movies with you or none of that. We're just out there to give you the truth. And if you don't believe, that's on you. And we're going to hop right into it, man. No. We tell our people that the, that the end of this so-called white man's kingdom Hey, look, we at the end of it, man. And it's coming rapidly. They don't believe. We tell them that the RFID chip is the mark of the beast. They don't believe. We tell them that they're the Hebrew Israelites. They don't believe. We don't lose sleep over that. We give you the message. If you don't believe, that's on you. Romans chapter 3, verse 3. For what if some did not believe? So what if some didn't believe that the God of the Bible is getting ready to send his only begotten son back? Who you eagerly call Jesus Christ, Lord, Yahweh Shai. We give our people the true, proper names in the Hebrew tongue of the Heavenly Father and His only begotten Son. They don't believe, man. You know, we tell them that the gods of these nations are idols. They don't believe. Stop worshiping, um, celebrating Christmas, Thanksgiving. The God of the Bible hates that. They don't believe. What does it say again? Romans chapter 3, verse 3. For what if some did not believe? Shall their unbelief Make the faith of the Most High without effect. Just because you don't believe in the words that we speak according to the Bible, is that going to stop the plans of the Heavenly Father? Is that going to stop the plans of the Heavenly Father? God forbid. That means no, man. You're not going to stop the plans of the Heavenly Father. His words are not going to go out void. It says, um, God forbid. Yea, let the Most High be true, but every man a liar. If they don't speak according to this word, there's no light in them, right? As it is written, thou, might, thou mightest be justified in thy sayings. And how are we justified in our sayings? Because we're speaking the words that you have by Shemel Shai, not our own words, right? And mightest overcome when thou art judged. So just because you don't believe, that's not going to stop the words of you have by Shemel Shai from going forth, man. We tell you we're from Israel and not Africa. Y'all don't believe it. Bug outs, man, okay? Bug outs. We tell you that the majority of our people are going to get thrown in concentration camps. They don't believe it. So what, man? Isaiah chapter 55, verse 11. So shall my word be that go forth out of my mouth. And who's the mouthpiece of the Lord? His men. Y'all don't believe that. The Lord speaks through his men. Y'all don't believe that. So what if you don't believe? That's on you. So shall my word be that go forth out of my mouth. It shall not return unto me void. But it shall accomplish that which I please. And it shall prosper in the thing whereto I sent it, man. So if you don't believe, then that's on you, man. Okay? Negroes, Latinos, and Native Americans, when you find yourself in a concentration camp, then you're going to come to the realization that what we were saying was the truth, man. Okay? But look, look, though. But only then, though. But only then. And then, guess what? It's going to be too late then. All this hooping and hollering and all that. It's going to be too late, man. Okay? This is um, Acts chapter 28, verse 24. And some believe the things which were spoken. So some of our people, the elect, that one third, they believe the things that are being spoken, man, through the scriptures by the men of the Lord, right? And some believe not. So some of our people, you know what I'm saying, that small remnant, you know what I'm saying? They're going to believe the words which are being spoken according to the Bible by the servants of the Lord. And two-thirds of our people, they're not going to believe. But like the scripture said in uh, Romans 3 and 3, that's still not going to stop the plans that you have about Shemel Rashad. Just because you don't believe. Look, the God of the Bible is setting up order. It's the Heavenly Father, His only begotten Son, the man, and then the woman, and then the child. The man is over the woman. What if some don't believe? Ain't no such thing as a man and a woman being equal, man. Okay? So what if some didn't believe, though? You're not going to stop the plans of the Heavenly Father, man, just because you don't believe. And it's all love. I'm going to read that again. 
Romans, it's like your Acts, chapter 28, verse 24. And some believe the things which were spoken, and some believe not, man. Okay? So the things that we're speaking right about now, hey, some of our people are going to believe it, and then some of them ain't, man. A race riot is coming. A famine is coming. You know? Death destruction on a massive scale is coming. The majority of these people in America are going to die soon, come, man. And the prophets give you that word from the Lord. This is um, Jeremiah chapter 28, verse 8. The prophets that have been before me and before thee of old prophesied, which means the prophets told you things that was going to happen before it happened. Okay? That's how you know who the true prophets are. They're coming in the, um, the spirit of prophecy. Pursuant to um, Revelation chapter 19, verse 10, the spirit of Lord Yahweh Shai. Prophesied both against many countries. So the true servants of the Lord are going to be prophesying against many countries. They're not going to say, they're not going to be saying everything's um, going to be love, love. Peace is coming. No, death is coming. Destruction is coming. That's what the men of the Lord are going to be telling you, man. What the scripture say? You shall know a tree by its fruit. You know, the scripture say a good tree can't bring forth corrupt fruit. Just like a, um, a corrupt tree can't bring forth good fruit, right? It says, um, both against many countries and against great kingdoms of war. We're letting you know World War Three is about to pop off, man. And the majority of our people are going to die, man. Okay? And of evil, meaning bad times. Look, look, man. This is just the beginning of sorrows. You ain't going to see nothing but bad times coming, man. Enough evils, right? And of pestilence. Enough diseases. You think the, um, the N1, the H1, the SARS, the um, bacteria, flesh eating disease, you thought that was some cancer, AIDS? That ain't nothing compared to what the God of the Bible got coming to this place, man. You ain't seen nothing yet, man. And guess what? If you don't believe, that's on you. That is on you, man. Really, that's on you. Let's get this next scripture, man. Like I said before, this ain't a real long lesson. Just wanted to bring out some scriptures through the spirit of your how about Shimia was shy. And then and then wrap it up. This is Jude chapter 1, verse 5. Well, it's only one chapter. Jude verse 5. I will therefore put you in remembrance, though ye once knew this. How look, how how that the Lord, Yahweh about Shimia was shy, having saved the people out of the land of Egypt. Look, afterwards, because all, all our people got um, delivered out of Egypt. You know what I'm saying? Ancient Egypt, right? I'm going to read that part again. How that the Lord, Yahweh by Shemiah Shai, having saved the people out of the land of Egypt. Afterwards, destroy them that believe not. So all our people got um, delivered out of ancient Egypt, right? But then the non-believers that wanted to go right back into Egypt got destroyed, man. So once again, so what if you don't believe, man? You're going to be destroyed, okay? The whole nation of Israel will not be delivered out of ancient, out of modern Salakia, out of uh, modern day Egypt this time, man, a.k.a. America, man, okay? The scriptures tell you all our people was delivered out of ancient Egypt, but the ones that didn't believe died in the wilderness, man, Okay? So you two-thirds that don't believe in the words you have about Shemel Shah, just know that you're not going to make it, man. You look, look, you're not going to make it, man, okay? And it's just true. It's just true. And I got one more scripture, and then I'm going to wrap it up. I got one more scripture, and I'm going to wrap it up, man. We tell you the truth. You don't believe us. That's on you, man. We ain't losing no sleep because two-thirds don't believe the report. You know what I'm saying? And there's uh, scriptures that we're bringing out. This is um, St. John chapter 8. Verse 45, red letter, Lord Yahweh Shai, who the ignorant called Jesus Christ speaking, right? St. John chapter 8, verse 45. And because I tell you the truth, ye believe me not. Week in and week out, starting off with the head apostles, 30 years and better, the elders of Great Millstone and the men on down, been speaking truth out there on the Bible, man. You know? We've been speaking the truth of the Bible on the streets for years now, and the majority of our people just walk on by. Like what we're saying, you know what I'm saying, it ain't true. If you don't believe, that's on you, man. Okay? We tell you the truth and you don't believe us. We're not going to beat nobody over their head to try to make them get this truth, man. 
Because why? Some going to believe and some ain't going to believe, man. And it is what it is, man. The Lord willing, brethren, will edify, man, through this lesson, man. Now, look, the ones of our people that do believe, there's hope for you. But the ones of our people that don't believe, definite instruction is for you, man. Hey, with that, I want to give all praise, honor, and glory to the Heavenly Father and His only begotten Son, Yahweh, Bahashem, Yahweh Shai, Bahashem, Rekak, Wadash. Next, double honors to the head apostles and elders of Great Millstone, the ones that taught me the 100% truth according to the Bible. Peace, blessings, and safety to all you sincere icons, man. Keep pushing, keep believing, keep the faith. Keep pushing once again. Shalom.